guys, welcome to another watercolor workout series class. My name is Tanya and I am a watercolorist. I'm mostly self-taught and I have experimented with a lot of techniques and I'm here to share every tip and trick that I have learned along the way. Today we're going to talk about transparency, which is the absolute beauty about watercolor, where you can create multiple hues of the same pigment just by adding water. We are also going to talk about mark making and how to discover your brushes better so you can use them in your work more effectively and to your advantage. We will also study a lot of examples that use these techniques and finally create four fun patterns using mark making and transparency. So let's get started with the materials. For the materials, you have your basic watercolor kit which is cold press paper, watercolor paper. We're gonna be using two paints in a palette. If you have a pan set, that's fine too. And if you have a liquid watercolor, that should do okay as well. I have a spray bottle to mist my paints real quick. Two jars of water, one for warm and one for cool colors. I have a paper towel here and we are going to be using a number of brushes today. Here is what you will need. We will use a flat brush. This is a one inch brush from Grumbacher. A size 14 round. Size 8 round tip. This is a 16 millimeter mop brush. 6 millimeter angled brush. I have a squirrel hair brush here. This is in a size four. A fan brush in a size six. I have a small round tip size two. And I ha also have a size two of a rigger brush, which is basically where the bristle of the brush is a little longer than the regular round tip. I also have a nip pen. And I also have a cinnamon stick, a palette knife, and a cup of some sort. I'm also going to be using a bone folder to separate my sheets. So let's get started. This may seem like a lot of brushes to have, but you don't need all of these. I recommend that you choose from your brushes or maybe even do this exercise with all the brushes that you have just so you know what you can do with your brushes and, and get excited to make marks. 